Um, I have another time when I spoke at this university, uh, John and Laura and their spouses, uh, one of whom is here with us, Jeff, uh, were by my side then. Uh, it was 2006. It was the memorial service uh, for Eli um, a few months after he died, and so it seems especially fitting to be back at GW today for this. Uh, it's taken a very large and very intergenerational village to build the Siegel Citizen Leadership Program, uh, including people who are not yet in their 20s, uh, up to people who are well into their 90s, uh, and we keep growing, welcoming new young people in, and um, those of us who are lucky, aging, to stay involved. Um, many too many people to fit in this room and many too many people to name. Uh, so how do you celebrate and recognize everybody who's been part of this uh, when there are too many people to name? Uh, well, we asked what would Eli do? WWED was the kind of acronym that went around when he was um, ill. And with uh, John and Nora's help, we came up with an answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, so our dad always loved playing games, and this one is to see how fast, if you are able, you can stand up and sit down. <laughs> Alternatively, throughout this exercise, you can raise and lower your hands um, when you hear yourself described. So first, with our deepest appreciation, stand up if you are on the host committee that made it possible for all of us to gather together and to expand our annual fellows retreat. So host committee members. Okay, we can read the names on the screen. Okay. Um, join me in thanking them as they take their seats. And next, um, because the core of this program is our fellows, I'd like all of the Siegel Fellows in the room to stand. And I'd like everyone to notice who the fellows are as they sit down. The names up here, so you can try and find time today and beyond to connect with them. Um, they're truly remarkable, and I think you'll enjoy your time speaking with them. Okay, so younger sibling always seems to go second. <laughs> always. All right, now stand up and stay standing. If you are a founder, a founder is someone who provided seed funding 10 years ago to get this thing off the ground. Stand up. This is the seed thing you <laughs> advisory board member for the Siegel program, past or present, awesome. Now stand up if you have supported fellows, if you've been a coach, a buddy, a mentor, you've hosted a fellow at your organization, yay, okay. And now um, stand up if you work or have worked at the important Siegel program national service partner organizations. So that's AmeriCorps alums, City Year, Service Year Alliance, Corporation for National Community Service. Now stand up if you are part of the Brandeis University community. <laughs> and now stand up if you aren't standing right now. <laughs> if you are here to learn about and get inspired by this program and its fellows. <laughs> about one of the partners that Maura mentioned. 
uh, uh, because I want to give a special salute to the Corporation for National and Community Service. We are a Siegel Fellow, serves a full year term in the office of the CEO, which was the position uh, that Eli held when CNCS was born. Uh, it's a fellowship uh, created, if I'm not mistaken, Jack, when you were on the board by you. Um, uh, and uh, at the same time, Jack's uh, wonderful sleight of hand led to renaming the AmeriCorps Education Award as the Siegel AmeriCorps Education Award. Um, we are absolutely thrilled to be joined today by the, the new CEO of the Corporation of National and Community Service, Barbara Stewart. I want everybody to see you today. Another great way that Brent has to support us. David and Bria and uh, Hope in the morning. 